Hi, I'm Lawrence Mittler with Best Kept Secrets of Fine Audio, and today we'll be reviewing the PD501 CD player and the TIAC Network Player NPH750, the short version. The PD501 has a black or silver aluminum faceplate. The side plate is also made of a thicker aluminum plate. The primary features of the PD501 is that it has 5.6 MHz digital sound digital capabilities with playback without the need for a PC connection. Some of the key features include a DSD native playback by the makers from Pure Mode. DSD means digital source digital. It's actually taking the raw data from the digital information and nothing but the raw data. The PD501 incorporates a technology known as VAX, a unique vibration control system as seen here on the screen. For the unit to operate at its top performance, TIAC uses Cirrus Logic flagship chip known as the DAC CS4398. The operational amplifier uses a JRC NJM5532. This allows for a smooth, smooth amplification within the unit. The PD501 uses separate power supply units for digital and analog sections to get the best results. They also use Schottky barrier diodes to get even better results. With all the key features together, you get excellent audio performance, and here's why. You end up with 20 to 80 kilocycle frequency response and 116 dB signal to noise ratio and a 118 dB dynamic range. Incredible. As well as 0 .004 of THD on pulse code modulation playback. And let's take a look at the rear panel. At the rear panel we have line output jack, left and right, our digital out, coax out, and optical out, as well as our IEC power cord. We've talked about previously in other videos about the power save feature that TIAC offers here. In summary, if you're one of the people looking for the DSD products, digital sound digital, getting raw data from your digital information, then this is the CD player for you. It has quite the performance for anybody listening to it. In previous videos, we talked about the TIAC NPH750. This was a longer version that we previously gave you. This will be the shorter version of it. Let's start with the construction. The construction of this piece is brushed aluminum on the faceplate, as well as the side panels. Here's another look at the side panel as it curves around, all aluminum plating, and we can see the aluminum plating right here with a metal chassis on top. The NPH750 offers 40 watts RMS per channel, Wi-Fi, and streaming, as well as AirPlay for anybody with an Apple product. It has 24-bit 192 in the back input and 44.1 to 96 kilocycle on the front input on the USB. The phono input and the subwoofer output are included. Here's another look at what we talked about. On the front panel, you can see the USB input here, 44.2 to 96 kilocycle, and it can play FLAC files, which is rather nice. On the back, you're going to plug your computer into it, which is the USB-B input, rear panel giving you 24-bit 192 kilocycle. For people used to MP3 files, which are compressed files, a FLAC file offers higher resolution. It can be anywhere between 44.1 and 96, typically. Some of them could go higher, but typically 44.1 to 96. Let's take a closer look at the AirPlay feature. With AirPlay, all the Apple people are happy. Why? 16-bit 44.1 kilocycle in terms of the performance you can get. That's actually CD quality from your iPhone or iPad. And here are some other important key features. The 80 dB signal to noise ratio on the moving magnet phono input, as well as a subwoofer output that you can drive your subwoofer with. If you can't see this too clearly, it represents the internet radio station. The NPH750 has a V-Tuner. That gives you access to 70,000 internet radio stations. Simply download VTuner Radio, and voila, you have access to the world. TIAC employ a Burr Brown 1795 DAC. One of the top pieces from Burr Brown are used in this unit to get you the best sound. Let's take a closer look at the rear panel. 
Here you have your IEC power cord hookup. You have your USB input jack here for uh, your computer, your digital in of coaxial and optical. Here you have your aux in. You have also an aux output that can take the signal out and put into a separate power amplifier or another stereo system if you wish. Here you have your moving magnet phono input, your subwoofer output, and your five-way binding posts for a pair of speakers. We should mention, if you wanted to use more speakers on the NPH750, you can by using those speaker switches that are impedance matched so that the impedance always stays consistent. In summary, this is the only piece I'm aware of that at 11 and a quarter inches offer you these total features giving you total performance for network capabilities. The NPH750 has some unique capabilities offering the best DAC chip, a great phono section, a wonderful V-tuner section for internet radio, and great sound from its amplifier.